Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna walk you through the step-by-step -step process on how to set up pool mining for Bitcoin Cash with an Avalon miner. So I'm assuming that you've already initially set up your Avalon miner device. If you haven't, I'll have a setup video linked down in the description. But what we need is to grab our IP off of our device, which you can get, of course, on this screen in the upper left-hand corner. Copy down your IP address, and we're gonna use this to log in to our mining dashboard. Over on my computer, opening up a web browser and entering that IP into the URL. For me, it was 192.168.50.34. Yours is likely gonna be slightly different than this, but once you enter that into the URL of a web browser, click enter and it'll bring us to our Avalon Miner login to get to our dashboard. Of course, the computer that you're using has to be hooked into the same internet connection that your miner is hooked up to so they can communicate with each other. If you haven't changed these, the admin is root and the password is also root and then we can click login. And then from the homepage of our dashboard, we wanna go over and click on where it says configuration. In our pool configuration, in the address area, we need to get a URL to point our miner to, and then the worker, we're gonna set up a wallet that we're gonna be getting our Bitcoin Cash paid out to. So what we're gonna do is head on over to Mining Pool Stats. I'll link this page down in the video description. If you want to pool mine, just make sure that you select a miner that doesn't say solo next to it. Obviously, the ones that say solo are for solo mining. But instead of chancing things with lottery mining and trying to get a block all to yourself, pool mining, it's just going to be a relatively low amount, but you'll get paid out consistently. So for this example, I'm going to set things up on f2pool.com. But again, you can select whichever pool that you would like to mine with. So I'm going to select this option. And then what you need to do from here is create an account. And I'll post a link to f2pool down in the description as well if you'd like to check it out through there. So when you create an account, it's pretty simple. You just need to pick a username and email that you want associated with your mining account and then create and confirm a password. Submit that and then confirm your account through the email that they send you. From there, you can sign in to this account that you had just created. Once you log into your account here in the upper right-hand corner, make sure you select this on Bitcoin Cash. And then once you're selected on Bitcoin Cash, we can scroll down to find where the URL is that we want to point our miner to. So we're going to copy that down, and then we're going to head back over to our dashboard. And back over in our dashboard for our address, that URL that we had just copied down, we're going to paste right here. So we're now pointed to that Bitcoin Cash mining pool. Now we need to set up our worker. And to do this, we're going to set up our payment method with our Bitcoin Cash wallet address over in our F2 pool account. And then after doing that, I'll show you what we're going to put in the worker area after that. Going back over to F2 pool. And if we scroll back to the top, you can see that it says I haven't set up a payout address yet. So I can do that by clicking here. And of course, this is going to be for Bitcoin Cash. So I need to set up a payment method with that. And I need to add a Bitcoin Cash address. So clicking plus right there. And it wants me to set up a two-factor verification before making any changes. So you can do this however you'd like. I'm going to do it through the Google Authenticator app. So I'm going to go through those steps. And from here, I now need to enter in my Bitcoin Cash address. So I'm going to grab this over from my Crypto.com account. And you can grab your Bitcoin Cash wallet address from wherever you have it located. If you'd like to get one through Crypto.com, you can use my link down in the description. But launching that. And then from our homepage, this is going to be a deposit. So I'm going to click on that option and it's a crypto deposit and then i'm going to search for bitcoin cash and then selecting that option and this is the bch network and then it's going to give me my bitcoin cash wallet address so i'm going to copy that down heading back over pasting in my bitcoin cash wallet address now this should work either way but it's good practice to put the prefix bitcoin cash with a colon before your wallet address so i'm going to add that so i'm all set up there with that bitcoin cash wallet address and then confirming this with my two-factor authentication and once entering that in, it says my address change has not yet been activated. So please check the email sent and click the confirmation link in the email to activate this new address. And then payments will be unpaused at that point. So now we're good to go with our wallet set up in our F2 pool account. And once our wallet is set up, our worker is going to be really easy. It's just the username of our F2 pool account in this instance. So I can find that in the upper right hand corner over at F2 pool. And I'm going to enter that in right here. And I also recommend naming your miner. So to name it, you just put a period here at the end of your username, and then you can name it whatever you want. I'm just naming my Nano 3 BCH pool. And then I'm going to save this information. And then once this information is saved, we can reboot our Avalon miner. So clicking reboot over here on the side and then confirm that. And it'll just take a little bit of time for the device to reboot with this information that we had put in. Expect maybe within about the next three to five minutes, your miner will ramp back up, get back up to its full hash rate. 
maybe within the next 10 to 20 minutes or so, just come back to your dashboard to make sure everything is up and running properly. And then heading back over to the F2 pool account page, I can see that my mining is starting to ramp up there. I can see the statistics there. So everything looks like it is set up running and good to go. And if you're interested in knowing the threshold that you need to reach with mining rewards before F2 pool will send you a payout for Bitcoin cash, it is 0 0.01 Bitcoin cash. So currently that's around four to five US dollars worth of Bitcoin cash before you'd reach that threshold for them to send you the payment. So not a huge amount, but it will take a little bit of time for your miner to get there depending on how much hash rate that you're producing. So that's going to wrap this one up. I appreciate you guys stopping by. I hope this video is helpful going through the step-by-step -step process on how to set up a pool mining for Bitcoin Cash. For other crypto mining tutorial videos, you can check those out on my channel and consider subscribing for more.